On Wednesday, we told you of a letter that was sent by the Belize National Teachers Union to the Prime Minister asking him for his intervention and for the order to have deductions made from teachers' salaries be rescinded. Prime Minister Dean Barrow is still out of the country, but he did find time to respond to the BNTU. Today, we met up with Deputy Prime Minister Patrick Faber, who spoke of the response. I was informed yesterday by the Office of the Prime Minister that the... Uh, Prime Minister did respond, I think, on Tuesday of this week. The letter was sent on Monday, and so the response was given on Tuesday. And the Prime Minister basically said that the, the, the Deputy Prime Minister is responsible for this under his portfolio, and the position that he has put forward is the position of the wider government. Now, there were two letters. Were they um, asking for the same thing, or was it separate requests? Well, more or less the same thing. Uh, it, the first letter, uh, which I didn't knew, know about, uh, complained about, again, the deductions, um, and uh, there was a subsequent letter. I think there was some uh, mishap. The Prime Minister's secretary may have been out, and so uh, the Prime Minister didn't get that first letter right away, and so there was a, there was a subsequent letter. And the response that he provided on Tuesday was for both letters. With the Prime Minister leaving the final decision on the hands of Minister Faber, we asked him if he remains firm in carrying out the deductions. Yes, we do. Um, I was uh, given a copy yesterday, we sent a copy of a letter coming from the attorneys for BNTU, uh, saying that in fact they are asking us again to uh, rescind the decision to do the deductions in the month of November. Uh, they quoted um, two sections of the Constitution they claim that, they, uh, that we were in uh, con contravention of. Uh, and we have sent it to the Attorney General, the Solicitor General's office for advice. But I am pretty sure that uh, whatever they are accusing us of there is not the case. In fact, um, we go back again to the Chief Justice's ruling of 2005 where uh, it was made pretty clear that if you go on strike, well, nobody can stop you from uh, going on strike. And uh, in fact, uh, it is your right to be a part of a union and to associate. And people will know that we have never interfered in the teachers' rights to be a part of the union and so on. And that is uh, the part of the Constitution which they are quoting in the letter from the attorney to say that we're breaching. That, is never, that was never the case. So I believe that they are just uh, clutching at straws as it relates to that argument. And um, we will proceed as, as planned with the deductions and also with the amendments to the school's calendar year so that we can give uh, those teachers an opportunity to uh, make back some of the salary uh, once uh, those days are given and also give the teachers a chance who were on who were not on strike, sorry, and who, of course, will be asked to uh, be a part of those makeup days as well, uh, a chance to be compensated. Deputy Prime Minister Faber is seeking to replace Dean Barrow as the UDP's party leader with aspirations to hold the office of the Prime Minister. Seeing how controversial the actions by the teachers have been, Love News asked Minister Faber of the popularity he may lose due to his decisions. I don't know that uh, it is something that everybody views as unpopular. Uh, as I've indicated time and time again, uh, you make a decision either way here and there are going to be people who are going to be unhappy. And as I've said time and time again as well, sometimes leadership uh, makes you have to do unpopular things. Uh, in this exercise, I have tried to be fair. In fact, as I've said there, has been pressure uh, for us to compensate and uh, kind of incentivize those who were um, were not on strike beyond their expected compensation for the for their uh, for their work as per normal. And I've I've resisted that because in fact uh, there is there should be a fair day's pay for a fair day's work and. Some will argue that these teachers who were at school, in fact, went beyond the call of duty, and I would agree with that. But in order to try to be completely fair, uh, 
so that people could stop viewing the deductions as a kind of punishment. There should be neither punishment nor reward. We should just uh, try our best to be fair, and that is what I've striven for, and I hope that people will recognize that, realize that. There are certainly many who have said to me that they believe that this is the right way to go, and that is the position that I'm sticking to. While teachers will not be paid for the 11 days that they chose to go on strike, they will be compensated for the additional six days that have been added onto the school's calendar for the academic year 2015-2016.